Hello Twin Flames, thank you for being here. So, I'm going to be posting a little bit later the weekly reading for the Twin Flames and the overview for Monday. But, I just want to do a small video on what the angels are telling me, linking these two videos together. Because there's a lot of croakiness in me today and the angels are showing me that this is what the masculines are going through right now. In the throat chakra area, they are struggling to breathe because they have felt overboard. Now, what they've told me is that the masculines are in a ship right now. They're in this boat and you know how the feminines paddle the wrong way up the stream? Well, the masculines are kind of They've been paddling so hard to try and hide away from their feelings. They fell overboard and they're in the ocean. The feminines, when they do this, are in a stream, you know, going the wrong way. But the masculines have fell into the ocean and it's an ocean of eternal love, eternal love for you, their divine feminine. And they are struggling to breathe right now. They are underwater. And this may be why you may be feeling that you've got croakiness in your throat area, you may feel like you're underwater, you may be having nausea, dizziness, pressure in your head. And I had this really severely yesterday and I had to go within and ask the angels what is going on. And this is what they've shown me. The masculines are overboard right now, they're struggling to breathe. Now they're paddling around, they're splashing around. So imagine your masculine right now in the vast ocean, in the darkness, because they're showing it me it's at night, splashing around, trying to find their way out to the lifeboat, to the dinghy, to the rubber ring that can go around them and help them to float. And you are the guide, you know, you are the guidance, you are the guide book. You know, when we get a deck of tarot, we're given a guidebook with it. You are the masculine's guidebook. You are their darkness. In the, you are the light in the darkness and the darkness in the light. So the angels say you come together because together you are one. So your masculine finds darkness in you because you illuminate into that. So you show your masculine the darkness within them. Does that make sense? So you light up the darkness at the right time. And right now, you were the light in the darkness because they are, you know, flailing around in the ocean trying to find the way out. So you have to shine the light brightly like the lighthouse. And what they've shown me is that when you come together, you're going to be activating your Merkaba. Now, I'm only just learning about this right now, and I know that a lot of you will know far more about this than me. I can only tell you what the angels are showing me, because I'm also learning, growing and evolving on this journey. And they show me when we come together with our twin flame, we will be activating our light body that will move us up for interstellar travel, and that will be to the next dimensions. So you'll be able to go to the 5D, the 4D, the 5D, but you'll be coming together in this light ship. And this is what they show me in this card because these two cards fell out in the reading. And I've done two readings and they both go into detail on this. But the first one is that this is an ocean, an ocean of eternal love. And you are the light. You are the light guiding the masculines out. You are saving them. You are their lifeboat. And it's an ocean of eternal love. So it's not just like they fell into the ocean and they can't breathe. They fell into the ocean of eternal love and that ocean is healing them. It's creating new beginnings, fresh starts. It's bringing creativity in. It's bringing passion and fire in. And it's a lot like when Neo in the Matrix was woken up and he found Morpheus. Well, Morpheus found him in the field. And you all remember that film. If you haven't seen it, go and watch it, you know. He's plugged into the Matrix like a battery. And he's in this little cocoon. In this little kind of, um, you know, his own bubble thing, you know. And the, Morpheus finds him and activates something within that. That makes all of the cords pop out of him that were plugging him in. And then because he's free, he slips through and it's like a water slide. He kind of goes down this water slide and he falls into the, the kind of ocean, the kind of sea that's there. And it's all pink and nasty, you know, and they kind of pick him up 
and you know put, take him to the ship this is ascension this is what will be happening with your masculine when they wake up because right now they've kind of been unplugged from everything and they've gone down through the water slide and they're in the ocean kind of faffing about you know, flailing about, and they're giving me the word faffing about because that's what they are doing when they are distracted by other things. They faff about, you know, they're flailing about, there's no direction, they're underwater, they can't breathe, they can't see clearly, and you have to guide them out of this darkness they're in, this water they're in. But this ocean that they fell into is an ocean of eternal love. And it's the number 44 because angels are protecting this. It's guided. It's protected from heaven. So they are going through this healing, cleanse, transformation like a phoenix rising from the flames when they are really coming out of the ocean. Like when a dolphin rises out. That's what they show me there. And what are the feminines doing? You're standing on the edge of the sea. You're waiting in all your glory there. Look at the power in her. She's wearing a beautiful blue dress, which is connected with Archangel Michael. And you're looking out there to the ocean. And the ocean is protected. And all of these things here are showing your masculine will rise out of this darkness, rise out of this ocean, and will ascend to a new level of awareness. And this will be the, the bond that's coming together between you, the light body activation, the Merkaba, guiding you forward rising you up together like a light ship and you know this is like a scene from independence day these ships rising up you know the ships that were kind of positioned all over the world but these are your ships your light ships and it's not just one masculine it's all of the masculines they show me this is the collective and that's why there's so much throat chakra stuff going on right now. Because you feel you can't breathe because you're underwater. Because things are rising up and you're rising up together right now. So you are standing on the end of the ocean. So feminines, you cannot give up on this journey. It's about endurance, motivation. There's endless possibilities right now for you. So focus on the good things, all the things in your life you've got to be grateful for. You are standing on the ocean. You are waiting for your masculine. But don't just wait there in pain energy. Wait there in power energy. Because when your masculine rises up, you're rising up together in this light ship that's going to create miracles, not only for you, but for the entire Twin Flame Collective, the world and the universe. It's a working together. An ocean of eternal love. So I wanted to jump on and put this video on right now to let you know how powerful this is so today breathe and let go and the angels want me to do it like this because there's so much information to take in so you may want to go within right now to meditate on this and to really visualize this yourself because you are standing on the edge of a stormy sea right now waiting for your masculine to rise out you are the lifeboat you are the lighthouse shining your light brightly in the ocean of eternal love and they are flapping around right now. They are flapping around trying to get out of this water because they are sinking. They are sinking, they are drowning, they can't breathe, but they've got to find it themselves. They've got to find the dinghy. They've got to reach out for the rubber ring. So keep sending them love. Keep sending them emotion. Because, you know, it's like a lost love right now. It's like you're lost and you're reflecting. You know, it's all about the light and the darkness. And it's in the stormy sea at night. Darkness coming together. It's like the show me when, you know, in Titanic at the end, you know, when Jack was holding on to that piece of iceberg and he was sinking. He's got to find his way himself, you know. Rose was there saying, come back, come back, come back. She wouldn't even speak, remember, because it was so cold. She'd been traumatised so much. And your masculine cannot get their words out right now because it's all pushed down. So you have to wait. And it's like I want to whisper because they are whispering to you right now. Whispers in the darkness. Whispers in the dark. You know, whispers across the sea. And you might hear that. Especially when you're falling asleep or waking up or in dream state. You may hear them whispering to you, come back, 
you know, they're calling your name. They are whispering to you right now because they are trying to find you in the darkness. But this is an ocean of eternal love. It's the sea and they are moving forward to you. So keep the faith right now. Have a beautiful day and I'll see you soon.